Welcome to the presentation of Arma 3. Uh, you may ask what the game will be like. Uh, you know, we are not just trying to make another Arma. This time we are trying to make it uh, really interesting for greater audience uh, to significantly improve the engine and uh, to deliver really interesting gameplay. So uh, we'll work on the physical simulation, uh, we'll improve animations. Uh, there will be a 3D mission editor, which will be certainly appreciated by our community. Uh, and uh, this time uh, we have the largest uh, environment presented in the series so far. Uh, well, enough of it, let's jump into the game. And by jumping, I mean really jumping. Yeah, you can notice the volumetric clouds uh, through which canopy I've just uh, formed. Yeah, we are slowly approaching the surface. You can notice the high resolution satellite imagery. Uh, we've actually sent uh, our artists to take the photos. Uh, we've purchased um, the high resolution in, uh, in images of the ground. We are using real life uh, terrain for the game. Well, uh, infantry combat stays the core of the simulation. Uh, you will be playing a lot for the infantrymen. Uh, and for this, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a bit of customizable gear and regular animation. In the final game, you, it will be possible to uh, modify even your gear, but now let's see what we can do with the long range optics, which can be unmounted. There we go. But I can mount the collimator on it. Um, the animations are uh, not completed yet for this, but uh, uh, it's already working game wise. I have now switched to another shooter, uh, and I'm now going to demonstrate a little bit of ragdoll. There he goes, off the roof. Another guy. Yeah, well, I missed him. Uh, but let's see the ragdoll in the in, uh, from the close. I'll just switch to grenade, and uh, by the way, check the detail of the vegetation. Nice. Too bad it's war going on there. There we go. AI uh, will uh, stay as cunning as um, it used to be in our previous projects. Uh, but uh, I'm still working on plenty of things. Yeah, welcome to Mediterranean. Uh, the power plant is uh, where where it is in real life and it's uh, modeled based on the photos from the actual location. Uh, I am getting shot at so let's leave this part of the demonstration and move on to the vehicles. Um, we have um, added some uh, very nice things like uh, adding the detail to the interior. Uh, enough for a racing game, right? Uh, there's the bad guy. I'm actually a bad guy too. But oh, let's now see what we have here. We have set up a little playground for uh, testing the physics. Boom. Uh, no sounds for the collisions yet, uh, and it's uh, not tweaked yet. Uh, the vehicles have actually working suspensions, and they have weight. Uh, so uh, it, I had some difficulty pushing another vehicle. But with this sprint on beast, it could be fairly easy. There we go, there we go. Yeah. Ah, this always happens when I'm showing this for a camera, you know. <laughs> yeah, even these heavier crates can be like pushed and destroyed quite easily. So much for physics. We, um, uh, we expect to. Uh, uh, have the physics for basically every vehicle in the game uh, and to fine tune to tweak it. There will be slightly less vehicles than usual, but um, still like several dozens. And uh, all of them will be fine tuned. Each, uh, each will have their own uh, uh, characteristics. Let's see a little bit more about environment. We are in the Mediterranean. Uh, as I said, it's the largest island, so we'll take a helicopter ride over it. In the farmland now, you can notice the Comanche helicopter. 
it's a live epic chopper. This development has been cancelled in the real life, but in our universe, in the Armorverse. Yeah. You may notice the sound gets muffled when I'm flying pilot. Yeah. Every building in the village is enterable. You can spot a solar plant nearby, and there's another city. There are some like 50 cities uh, scattered around the island, um, and uh, they are fairly big. They can be compared to the cities from our previous projects. Uh, even, even a small village has some like 100 houses. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, but there are the clouds. They are volumetric. They, they are 3D, so you can fly through them. And let's see some action. You can see the spent rockets actually leave the empty space in rocket board. We, we all like these details, but it doesn't mean um, we don't concentrate uh, on the game as well. It, it's just this adds a lot to the final presentation. Uh, we've visited the ground, uh, we visited the air, now let's see how we cope with the sea. Uh, Naturally, we have boats, we may have some hovercrafts or stuff like that, uh, but um, Slimnos is an island and um, we want player to try basically every vehicle in-game th uh, throughout the campaign, um, make naval combat nice, believable, and uh, ships controllable is a part of our mission. Let's start the engine. And bump into something because we got physics for the boats as well. You can see the bay and really nice cliffs. Boom. Uh, all the floating objects are uh, uh, a simulation. And there we go. You can ru run over them. Uh, the boat we are looking at is fictional, uh, but uh, it was designed to look wow! It was designed to look as authentic as possible. Uh, there we go. The guys survived. Unbelievable. Uh, you may also ask, why do we have these uh, black guys there in the wetsuits? It's pretty easy. In Arma 3, you can actually go underwater. Uh, we are working with swimmer, swimmer delivery vehicles, uh, but so far you will see only combat divers floating around. I'm on those. So, uh, be it uh, uh, some special operation, some infiltration thing, or uh, uh, if you just want to uh, loot some wreck, you're, you're ready to make it. It's basically a new dimension, uh, and this dimension is actually full of life. We can see, we can see fishes. Come on, fishy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in, uh, so far we have just one species, but uh, uh, we are focusing to make the environment more lively. So even underground there will be like sheep, um, wild goats, rabbits. Um, uh, it just adds a lot, you know. Uh, and we are not just a mindless shooter. We, uh, uh, we are slow-paced game, so uh, at some point um, we, we expect player to just stop take a look at the environment, enjoy it, and uh, you know, um, if, if he would spot some animal, it can add to the feeling, to the atmosphere. Uh, our main focus is uh, on the playable content, on the campaign, so all these new possibilities, 
the spectrum of vehicles, all the engine improvements that will be used in the campaign, in the missions, uh, they will be available in the editor and we'll make sure to have the multiplayer as interesting as possible. Uh, what might be interesting for our modding community, it's, it will be as easy to mod Arma 3 as it uh, you, you was the case with Arma 2, Arrowhead or Arma 1 Flashpoint. Um, it remains open and modded and modifiable. Uh, and well, now uh, let's see some battle. Um, in this battle there are some like 100 artificial intelligence units uh, fighting. This stuff is not fine-tuned and it's getting too loud maybe. Nice vegetation, but perhaps not much time to add. At some point in the campaign, uh, even player would uh, have a chance to control world groups, um, command subordinates, uh, and stage a battle like this, for example, using artillery support, uh, uh, using some aircraft, uh, uh, UAVs, uh, even minefields. We'll have anti personal mines. Uh, hope I'll not step on one. So that's how the battle in the final game may look like. In the end, um, let me share some more information about the campaign because it's going to be the main game mode. And um, uh, I hope uh, we'll achieve um, a little revolution. Um, uh, it will be single player only this time. Um, uh, this simplifies the matters a lot, so uh, we are able to deliver a really strong story with many twists. Um, essentially designed uh, to put player into any kind of a situation, like the vehicles you have seen, the weapons, uh, um, it all should play its role in the campaign. Uh, uh, so at some point uh, the main character will be um, uh, sneaking, diving, shooting, flying. Um, naturally he will also have to talk to someone to decide. Uh, uh, we are also careful about delivering the interesting gameplay to both lone wolf and command types of players and um, uh, the learning curve uh, uh, should uh, not be as steep as in previous titles. Uh, we pay a lot of attention to really teach players something before he goes into real action and even the campaign um, will feature that. So we will not have just tutorials, we will also have um, uh, this kind of in-game tuition. And in the end, the player will be able to ultimately fight the way he wants. Uh, he'll be playing um, the, the story which is set in the near, near, near future where the Eastern armies uh, uh, are pushing NATO away from Europe. In this grim situation, uh, Captain Scott Miller, uh, the main character of the game, will be controlled by the player. He's, set, um, uh, he's sent with the uh, group of specialists uh, to the island of Limnos. At some point he will find himself uh, facing this environment, a very large island, uh, realm of its own, you know, with its own inhabitants, population, um, with uh, some rules, and he will have to find out the solutions. Uh, we'll be just giving the player objectives and clues, and we'll give him a playground, the possibilities to really explore the land and uh, to find his own style of gameplay and to really enjoy what we've prepared in the order and in the way he really wants. And we really hope that the people will have fun playing with Arma Queen. Well, thanks for your attention. Don't forget to check out our social channels and armaqueen.com.